There is this kind of aura around him, right? And this mystique of, that's the guy who runs our university. That's the guy. Andy is a, a humble man, a man of faith, and a man of highest integrity, and uh, he can be trusted no matter what. He just exemplified the characteristics of a servant leader. He influences people not from a loud way, but from a, from a very thoughtful, caring kind of way. I have no doubt that when he says something, that first of all, it's true, and that if it's a promise, or if it's a pledge, or if it's a vision, that he's really behind it. You don't have to look far to see that Andy Benton is a man of faith. I think he guides, you know, everything that he does. He's a very wise leader, and he's a rock and roller. He knows who he is. You know, many of us are paralyzed by what will people think. He's not worried about what people think. He's comfortable with who he is. He's being a man of integrity. He, he's, he's comfortable in, in his own shoes. And I think that's what drew people to him, students, faculty, staff. Here's a person who is real. Andy inspires me every day. The main inspiration I gain from Andy is his goodness and his lack of ego in, in important areas of things that where his heart and everything he does is focused on how and what can we do to make Pepperdine better and serve our students? During Andy's presidency, Pepperdine has been transformed significantly. Andy's done a good job in, in really leading the five schools to really focus on their Christian mission, pulling it more like a university rather than a multiversity. As executive vice president, it was really on his shoulders and he led the effort to secure all the approvals we needed to build out the campus, the master plan, and it was huge. There's so many physical structures here that are a result of his, of his leadership. Andy's legacy, in my mind, is what he has done for the academy. If we really look back, we often think of Andy as a builder of things, as the builder of the Drescher campus, of the builder of the Malibu campus, and of so many things that are here. But I think he really, in my mind, is responsible for all of the enormous wealth of intellectual capacity that we have here now at Pepperdine. I remember from his inauguration speech, he was gonna do whatever he could uh, to diversify our student body across all five schools, reflect our nation's population. He made the same commitment about faculty. But within less than 10 years, uh, those numbers were you know, had changed drastically. And that is directly traceable to a commitment that Andy Benton made, you know, and his character to say, this is important, I'm gonna stick with this. And what an incredible legacy that he leaves to have done that and to have supported such change that no student can come here and leave here and not feel like a better global citizen. In the way that President Benton has continually developed Pepperdine as a whole, it has really brought up the standard of education that we have here at Pepperdine, and it's given us more pride in our university, creating a community for students to come to and feel proud of and um, know that it is evolving and growing with them is something important. He has made sure that we've stayed on the track of mission-driven and we don't waver. George Pepperdine would be, would call him a good man, a good and faithful man, because he has kept us on that path and um, we're all better for it. Since 1937, we've held on to our Christian mission and the idea that, that as a Christian institution, we're still going to seek academic excellence. I'm as proud of, uh, of that as anything about Pepperdine. Making that balance is, is not easy to do and it's not tried by very many because it's very difficult, but President Benton has been so focused on not making a choice between academics and faith and so maintaining the emphasis on both uh, has really elevated Pepperdine on the, on the national scene as well as the world scene. He has put our put Pepperdine on the map, shall we say, in a very respectful way. It's a formidable university that uh, is academically strong, 
not as a Christian university, and that's fairly unique in this nation, but there we are, voila, top 50. <laughs> I think God chooses the right president for Pepperdine every step of the way. All of them had their role to play, and I think that, you know, we had Andy at a time when it was critical to have someone that people could believe in and could follow, and um, we accomplished great things. You can't think of Andy Benton as president without thinking about his commitment to students. The students are really at the heart of the university. That's why we're here. We're here for the students to train them, develop them, and give them lives of perfect service and leadership. And Andy truly believes that is the purpose of the university. And the way to do that is to be, to be with the students and to, and to care about them and let them know you care about them. President Ben knows that he should make himself accessible to students is because he knows that he's not just leading an educational institution. He's leading an entire student body. He is the student's president. And his priority are the kids and he wants their quality of experience here to be the best it can be. AKB, is, that's what the students call him. Isn't that wonderful? AKB to me is the student's president because he's always encouraging students to do their best. He's pushing them and encouraging them to find new ways to succeed and to leave a legacy. As a student, it's really important to see your president be involved. I mean, that's why he is called the student's president. He's called that because you can see him walking around campus and he is always available to talk to you um, and just like chat and just kind of like make sure that he knows you as like a person, not just as like a number. The community that has evolved at Pepperdine is because of President Benton. He's very different. You don't see presidents sitting in the cafe with students. You don't see presidents putting on Hawaiian shirts and playing guitar behind the Brock House. I, I think that was not inherited. It's not like, oh, this is what Pepperdine presidents do. This is, this is Andy. It's something we're all kind of proud of that like our president is like just like a cool guy that can just like stand up there and like rock out with a band. He'll have that legacy of he was our president. I could have lunch with him. There he was in the cafeteria. He was approachable man. I think that'll all be part of the story of Andy Benton. He knows it's not about him. He's very humble in that. He knows it's about the university. He knows it's about our students, and he honors that. He's created a place that makes me want to be here and to give my life to it. I think he's been a key reason why um, Pepperdine is where I still want to be, and I just feel like I'm its family. I got the opportunity to have my dream job. I got the opportunity to, to do something where I get up every morning excited about what I get to do that day. And, you know, the, the, the man who made that possible for me, you know, ha has to be inspiring to me. This is my, this is my dream. And, uh, you know, and Andy played a big part in that. You can look at all the numbers and the rankings and things that he's impacted. But you can also look at the thousands and thousands of students who have left this place better people, due in large part to him and the environment that he's created. I am a better person because of President Ben. I have friends that are better people because of President Ben. This university is a better place because of President Ben.